In this lecture, I'm going to teach you how to create this very cool CSS effect, this typewriting CSS effect. Um, so it writes the sentence and then it waits for a little bit and then it deletes it a little bit faster than the way it has written it. So let's dive right into it. So we're going to create our HTML and CSS files as usual. So I'm going to create my, my HTML first. I'm going to name it type.html and I'm going to create another one for the CSS, type.css. The HTML is going to be very short, so I'm going to write the HTML template and then I'm going to give it, give it a title type writer and then I will link it to my CSS file, link type.css. Go to the body um, now we are going to create a div and that wraps the h1, the text. So div, give it a class of wrap, I don't know. And then I'm going to uh, create an h1 for the text. I will write, this is a type writer, haha. -ha. I don't know. Okay. so. I will open this in the browser and see what we're having. So very simple, very ugly. So now we are finally going to move on to the CSS. So first I will push this sentence a little bit down right here, just so that we can visualize it in the video. Uh, for your case, you don't really have to do that. It's not very important. So I'm going to use Flexbox for that. Okay. So I will target the div that I named wrap. So wrap. And then I'll do display flex, align items, center. And obviously we would have to give it a, a, a height. I'm going to give it 95 viewport height. It'll refresh. There you go. It's right in the middle. So now we're finally able to start working on our main H1, which is the text. So I'll target the H1, H1. And the first thing I would do is actually get this every single first letter, I would like to capitalize it. I would like to capitalize every single letter in the text. So for that, I would do text transform capitalize. There you go. It got capitalized. I would also want to change the font family. So. I will do font family. I'll give it a font that's called consolas, like that. That's looking pretty well already. And now we are going to create something that is so cool. It's actually very fun to do. You see this white line right here? This one, that one, that one, it's called the carrot right here we are going to create this carrot thing blinking carrot so for that i will do uh, a border border right i will make a border right for the sentence so i will i will i will do um three pixels solid black oh okay there you go we got this border right here. Now we have to make it blink just like here. It's blinking, right? So for making it blink, I'm going to have to use the animation. So I will write animation. And actually, I'm not only going to use the animation for the blink carrot, I'm also going to use it for the whole text so that it gets this typing effect like this. So I'm going to create two animations. The first one, I'm going to name it typist, just uh, giving it a random name. And I want the period of time, the duration, I want it to be around uh, 15 seconds. I'm going to name the second one carrot. You can name it whatever you want. And I would like the duration to be around um, 0 0.7 seconds. Now we are going to uh, create the keyframes for the two animations. And for that, I will have to do keyframes and give, I'll start by the carrot one. So carrot. 
And at the 0 and 100%, I would like the border to be transparent. So for that, I will do um, 0% and the 100%. I would like the border to be transparent. So I'll do border color transparent. And at the 50%, the border color will change to black. So border color black and now oh it's doing it only one time I have to refresh so because it's doing it only one time we want it to be infinite so we are going back to uh, the carrot and we'll do in infinite save hit refresh there you go there uh, that's what we want but you can see that it's actually fading in and out a little bit, so we don't want that at all. And for that, we are going to use an attribute called steps. Step end is one of the values of a property called animation timing function. And the default one is called ease. And that right here is applying that default value right here. So this is the default value. It's called ease. And what this basically does is the animation start it starts slowly, accelerates in the middle, and then it slows down at the end. So I'm going to play the animation just like that. But we don't want that. We want a different one, which is called the step end value. So this is the step end. The step end, um, the animation stays at the initial states until the end when it instantly jumps to the final state. So it, it is right here, and then it instantly jumps to the final stage, just like this, right? So this is what we want. We want this, we want this black and then instantly changes to uh, transparent and then goes back to black and then, and so on. So I'm going to apply this step end function uh, value. I will put it right here after the infinite. So step end save, refresh, there you go. Now it's working. So we're done writing the keyframes of the blinking carrot. Now we're going to move on to writing the keyframes of the CSS effect, this whole t uh, text CSS effect. We're going to make it uh, look like this, right? And the method I'm going to use is the width. So when it deletes it, the width go to zero and then when it writes it the width go to 100% but it's not that easy it's, it's a little complicated than that we're going to cut this to uh, different parts okay so I am going to write the keyframes for the text effect that we have called uh, we've named it typist so frames typist typist and as I said before, we will be dealing with the width. So I'm going to uh, cut this to four, five parts. I'm going to write 0% and then 30% and then 80% and then 90% and then finally 100%. And for the width, I'm going to use a unit that is pretty, not very known, okay? It's called CH, which stands for characters. Now, I'm going to write 0% width and then zero characters so at the zero percent at the zero percent when it starts uh, the width is zero character that means it starts from zero now we are going to put the second percentage I want it to be 30 percent and I want the width to be set to whatever number of letters that we have in 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 the text so we are going to have to uh, count the number of letters that we have here. And I'm going to use this online website that counts the characters. So in my case, I have 26 character. So I will put 26 CH. So at the 0%, it, it starts from 0, at the width is going to be 0. And at the 30%, the width goes to 26 characters. So it writes the whole thing 
in 30% of whatever period of time that we've put here. In our case, there it's uh, 15 seconds. Now I'm going to add another percentage, which is 80%. So I'm going to do 80%, and I want the width to be the same as before. So in my case, it's 26, so I'm just going to leave it 26. So width 26 characters. That way it doesn't change at all. It stays, it stays at the 26. After that, I'm also going to put another uh, percentage, which is 90, 90%. And I want the width to be set to uh, zero. I want it back to zero. And then finally, 100%, the width is going to be, it's also going to be zero percent, zero characters. So I'm going to explain this. So at the zero percent, the width is zero. That means it starts from zero. And at the 30%, it writes the whole thing because we have 20 characters and and, and we just put here 20 characters. And at the 80%, it's not going to change anything. And then very shortly, it will delete it and, and it goes back to zero. And then 100%, it also stays zero. Now we're gonna take a look at what we have. So if I refresh, this happens. And that's this is not what we want. We want it to write it this way, but it's not writing it this way. Um, the words are getting stacked on each other, which is not what we want. So we are going to use a property right here. We're going to go all the way back to the uh, H1 and we will do the white space property. So white space property, and I'm going to write it to, to set it to no wrap. And now the words are not getting stacked on each other, but it's not it's not doing what we want either. So uh, we are going to use uh, a property called the overflow property. So we're going to set the overflow to hidden. Overflow hidden. And at this point, it's writing it but the animation timing function is not what we want. We want a different one, which is pretty close to, uh, to the step in that I talked about recently. And as I have explained it before, the default value of the property that's called animation timing function is ease. So it's, it's, um, it starts very slowly and then it accelerates in the middle and then it slows down at the end, just like this. And this is basically what's happening here. If I refresh, it starts very slowly and then it um, accelerates and then it slows down. But we don't want to do that. We want it to go this way. Okay? We want it to go this way. And for that, we're going to use a different value that is called steps. And the way to write this is um, obviously animation timing function. And then we put, well, we are going to write steps and then we're going to put uh, a number in between of, pra of brackets. And what this basically does is that it breaks it into multiple states and then it will, it will start jumping from a state to another. And then, and, and the number of states is basically the number that you put in between those brackets. So in my case, I put four here and when I play the animation, it will start jumping from one state to another four times. So here is a mini challenge for you. I want you to figure out the number of states that we have here so that we can make it do this type of animation. I'm going to give you five seconds. All right, so I hope you already found the solution. So the number of state is basically the number of letters that we have here, the one that we've already calculated, which is 26 in my case. And now all what we've got to do is go back here, go to the animation, and right after the duration, I'm going to write steps 26, which uh, is the number of characters. I'm also going to put uh, infinite here so that it does the, it does the animation infinitely refresh and there you go this is actually the css effect that we need 